The Goblin's Christmas by Elizabeth Anderson. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Aubrey Kirkham. The Goblin's Christmas. Once upon a time, I visited Fairyland and spent a day in Goblin Town. The people there are very much like ourselves, only they are very, very small and roguish. They play pranks on one another and have great fun. They are good-natured and jolly and rarely get angry. But if one does get angry, he quickly recovers his good nature and joins again in the sport. If a goblin should continue angry, he would take on some visible form. Perhaps he would become a toad or a squirrel or some other little animal and would have to live here on the earth plain forevermore. But if he keeps good-natured, he can come here and have his fun and not be seen by anyone except a seer or a very wise person. The goblins are gracious to the wise people now, but they were not always so. A long, long time ago, on a Christmas Eve, the fairy folk were having great sport. All the little people of the unseen world had gathered together in the earth realm. There were brownies and gnomes and elves. Even some little cherubs had joined them. They were having a wild dance and a gay time when who should appear but Kris Kringle. Now the fairies did not know that he was a, mu a magician or seer, and so they tried to make sport of him. But Kris, by his wonderful magic, changed them into the most beautiful toys. They became straight little jumping jacks, and dolls in bright dresses, and the dearest little rabbit with white, soft fur. And somewhere in the bottom of the sleigh one was turned into a cute little teddy bear. Then old Chris tucked all these toys into his roomy sleigh, and shook the reins of his waiting steed. "'Go on,' he said, "'for I've many, many a chimney to reach to-night.' Now this is the tale of the Goblin's Christmas that the moonbeams told, as they heard it from the fairy queen, who declares that every word of it is perfectly true. The big bright moon hung high and round, in a densely darkened sky. The tall pines swayed and mocked and groaned. The mountains grew so high that the man in the moon came out and said, Ho, spooks, for a merry dance. The winds blow hard, the caverns roar, while o'er the earth they prance. A witch and a goblin led the sprites, out from the sky they sprung, and down the milky way they slid, and over a chasm swung. The streams around ran witch's broth, the fumes were strong and rank, these elfish creatures all were wroth, while of the stuff they drank. The cunning moon looked on and laughed, with a shrill and sneering jibe. Her soul grew fat to see them chaffed, this mad and elfish tribe. The big black cauldron boiled so high with food for these queer mites that it lit the world throughout the sky and down came all the sprites. Their mad career upset a star as through the air they flew. It cringed in fear and shot afar and fell where no one knew. Orion's sword was broken bits, Corona's crown was gone, Capella seemed to lose her wits while all so longed for dawn. Then from the night there came a sound of sleigh bells ringing sweet. Out of the chaos came a man, Kris Kringle, for his Christmas treat. Ho, oh, Kris, they cried, we'll have some fun, we'll bind the old man down, we'll tie him up and toss him o'er into our goblin town. They climbed the sleigh with shout and din to bind his hands and feet. A hundred strong they clambered in, our good old Kris to meet. He sat quite still, with twinkling eyes, then seized his magic wand. He raised it up and waved it round. Stilled was this chattering band. Stiffly stark and still they stood, clad in elfish clothes. Some were wax and some were wood. One had crushed his nose. Playthings rare, he said and smiled, for children rich and poor. Some all leave the crippled child, and some at the orphan's door. He shook his reins and called his steed to bear him swiftly on. Full well it knew its master's need to hurry ere the dawn. 
from house to house they scampered down their sleigh bells ringing clear through chimneys in the sleeping town good chris and his reindeer the windows rattled the moonbeams tattled a tale so strange and queer they told how at night in dire affright the moon had hid in fear that he'd called in sport his elfish court of spooks and witches gay each elfin child by glee beguiled brought scores of others they say then a man appeared with flowing beard in a sled with a reindeer fleet they gathered about with din and shout to bind him hands and feet then the moon laughed loud at the gathering crowd while he held his sides in mirth to see old chris in a plight like this toiling over the earth but alas for the moon he had laughed like a loon for chris is a hero of old yes chris is a seer with his small reindeer he captured the goblins bold and he changed them they say in a wonderful way to toys for his christmas cheer the big dolls stare with a goblin air the small ones cringe with fear while the moonbeams prattle i hear a rattle of hoofs on the chimney side then out on the snow i gaze below hurrah it's kris kringle i cried then sly as a mouse he entered the house and hung up his treasures so gay then out with a dash he sped like a flash into the night and away End of the Goblin's Christmas by Elizabeth Anderson. This recording is in the public domain. Read by Aubrey Kirkham.